so good to show you and welcome back to the channel or welcome to the channel if you are new if you are new my name is Alyssa also known as Shifty I create sims for content here on YouTube and today I'm just gonna be showing you guys what I've been playing with because um I don't know if I've posted on YouTube but I have posted everywhere else I am sick I have been dealing with a cold for the last three days and the first two I was just coughing so much my voice was almost gone it was just really really bad um and at one point i knew i thought i had covid and i was like no no we're not doing this again um but thankfully it's just been a cold um i am feeling a little bit better today so i kind of wanted to show you guys what i've been playing off camera as i've been getting my new pc set up uh recently got a new pc and i've had to fix my settings again my obs settings my mic settings so if my mic sounds different that's because i'm trying to get it back to what it was but hopefully it doesn't sound too bad and yeah i've just had to basically reinstall all of my visual effects and um softwares and things like that but i think that i'm finally to a point where um i'm i'm getting the groove back so uh, i wanted to record today for you guys and almost do like a sit down play with me chill kind of vibe video where you guys can just like see what i've been doing it's like a current household i guess i know that some people have told me that they use my video sometimes as like a podcast kind of thing so definitely you know plug your headphones in clean and whatever you need to get done i hope that you have a great new year's and uh be safe if you go out and party tonight or do anything uh if you're staying at home let me know what you guys are doing i would love to know or if you know what you're doing while you're watching this video or listening to this video but we are going to just start off with a meal sim i don't usually do this but going to start off with Emiliano. I'm going to read you guys the description that I typed up for him on Instagram and then I'll show you guys all of his outfits, his family, and just to give you a little bit more information about him. So this is Emiliano. Emiliano lives in Tartosa with his parents and two Dalmatians, Thor and Loki. Emiliano is an aspiring chef, but before he was super confident and outgoing, Emiliano spent every waking moment on his favorite MMO. And that is where he met one of his closest friends who would later turn into the love of his life. It's been six years and Annalise, his crush, has finally saved up enough simoleons to fly out to Tartosa, but Emiliano will be surprised to see that the girl in the photos is not Annalise. So Emiliano, he used to be a very quote unquote nerdy kid, a kid who struggled a lot with his confidence. He had very low confidence as a child and he found comfort in online gaming. You know, he would sit there and play and raid dungeons for hours. His mom was like, honey, you need to go outside. They're very outdoorsy people. But he was just struggling a lot as a kid and didn't really fit in, he felt like. And so he found comfort in a video game. And that is where he met Annalise. And the two of them would sit and play for hours, raid dungeons together. They were in the same guild and they just played that game for years. And the last two years of most recently, he has confessed to her as they've grown up together and they've become adults together that he has had a crush on her and she reciprocated those feelings. She was like, oh, I've liked you too. Um, but he's been 100% honest and forthcoming with her, whether that's about his identity, his life issues, his parents, his financial status, everything like that. He's been very upfront with her and has told her everything from day one, only the truth. Um, he also wants to be an aspiring chef and his family, they are not really wanting him to pursue the situation with Annalise. His mother, Isabella, is actually very opposed to it because she knows that if he does pursue this relationship with Annalise, that he's going to basically pick up his stuff and he has to move to the States, quote unquote, the, <laughs> the Sim States. <laughs> And so she, she's going to lose her baby boy. He's not going to be close anymore. He's going to fly into a new country and he's not going to be home anymore. And she just wants to protect him. And his father does too. And they're just very worried that he's going to get his heart broken. Um, but as you guys can see here, I don't even think I went through his traits yet, but we'll go through mom's um, since we're here. <laughs> Mom wants a big, happy family. She's a foodie. Uh, she's family oriented and she's generous and isabella this is what she looks like um her outfits are very i'd say simple but you know she she knows that she's a beautiful woman and so she dresses very youthful like sometimes and this is what uh, a lot of her outfits will look like she's very plain um they do love to host parties so i do have this outfit here for when they you know they invite their friends over and they're cooking for the evening we have um this outfit as well i imagine they would use for like parties and stuff 
and then we have cold weather because it doesn't really get that cold in Tartosa. you know you might have to throw on like a light jacket or a sweater or something like that but Tartosa pretty much has all around good season weather <laughs> this is um this is emiliano's father this is alejandro alejandro is also wanting a big happy family he is ambitious he is a maker he loves working with his hands he will build anything with his hands he will build a house with his hands if it's possible um so he is a maker he loves the outdoors and he looks a little scary up close you know he looks a little rough and tough like he might just be very strict and not really a lot of fun but don't let that fool you alejandro is very much so a fun spirited guy <laughs> he will make you laugh he will spend hours just talking to you just to get to know you and he will always just like people see him from afar and they're like oh my gosh that goes alejandro just avoid him but really when he gets up to you he's like hey man how's it going um but these are his outfits and he is just very casual you know he might dress up for like the parties because his wife tells him to put on a nice sweater and some slacks but other than that he is just a casual guy <laughs> as you guys can see here for his outdoorsy hot weather wear i just gave him some shorts a shirt and some sandals he in his free time likes to go fishing with his son they like to get the boat out together um he likes to just walk downtown pick up flowers for his wife you know simple things like that two other ones that i would like to introduce you guys to are thor and loki so the brown dalmatian is thor and thor is a friendly dalmatian he's smart and he's also active and then we have Loki, and Loki is the Black Dalmatian. He is actually active. <laughs> he's a troublemaker, and he's smart as well. Um, these dogs, they are Emiliano's life. If he has to move to the States, he has to bring them with him. And so I don't know how these dogs are going to live or work in um, Annalisa's living situations, which you guys will see in a little bit. But let's get back to Emiliano, because I didn't really even get to explain him to you guys. But Emiliano, I was inspired when I was scrolling on Instagram and watching reels, I saw this content creator and he was very much so focused. He loved 19, I think it was 1960s fashion through 1990s. So that's like his everyday attire. And I was so just inspired by his aesthetic that I had to create a sim. I literally sent myself an email of the video so I would not forget. So I created him based off of a content creator that I saw and he has this mustache and these cool glasses. He dresses like he's from the 60s and from the 90s and this, I think it's the 70s, 80s, 80s <laughs> or 70s, 70s. Um, but as you guys can see, he's a master chef. Um, he's a bookworm. He's outgoing and he's active. And I did change his traits as he aged because honestly i just felt like he would change you know as you get older you might pick up new interests and things like that i'm just gonna go through his outfits while i talk to you guys but i feel like you would pick up new interests and of course you know your traits are gonna change or you're gonna like new things and so i did change his traits he was a geek and he was into all that stuff he was a little homebody as i think it's like a homebody trait that i have he was a homebody but eventually he was just like you know what I want to change my life i want to do something else and it just wasn't for him to constantly stay in the house but annalise is like that and so he might you know make some adjustments in his life so that way he can be supportive of her lifestyle as well um but that also means that she might have to make adjustments to fit into his lifestyle so they're almost complete opposite now in their life but the fact that he has such strong feelings for her and she was always there for him even when he wasn't his best is why he loves her and feels so fondly towards her but now that we've got all the instructions out of the way, let's go ahead and hop in the game so I can show you guys his house. I also realized I said his house. This is his parents' house. <laughs> let's get that straight. So this is where Emiliano lives. And I'm sorry, it is nighttime. I have been playing. So it's raining here in Tartosa. And even when it's raining in Tartosa, guys, it is so beautiful here. It is just, it's gorgeous but they live on this area here next to the waters and the bridge and i can't wait for annalise to come here and to explore and to see what tartosa has to offer oh my gosh guys look at that water are you for real right now that is so pretty and the fish are hopping out oh my goodness i am gonna do a video where i show you guys how i um set up my game with like my settings and my visuals and everything because guys do you see that Oh my gosh, this looks so cool. I added a new lighting or visual feature to my to my mods folder and 
this is game changing. I have to share it with you guys later. Um, but yeah, let's just uh, get the house tour. I got so distracted. So this is what their home looks like. And Emiliano's parents, they sleep upstairs. But we have this living room area. And the family doesn't really use the living room too much. But it's here if they want to come in and watch TV, sit by the fire, whatever it may be. And if you guys want this house, I always put in the description which C file I'm playing in and um, my reshades that I use and everything. So feel free to check that out and I'll always have it updated and linked for each video if I change my reshade or change my save file, etc. Um, but this is what the living room looks like. Coming in here, they have this uh, big round table because I did mention that they like to host. And so I would imagine they invite guests over and... Uh, um, Emilio's mom, Isabella, and he will cook in the kitchen together and make a meal for everyone. And then when you come in here, this is what their kitchen looks like. Oh no, we have some spoiled food. So I'm going to have uh, Emiliano clean that up really quickly. I went and updated all the counters and the appliances because I wanted this to fit my gameplay style. This is a beautiful kitchen though when you originally get it. So don't be upset. Oh my gosh, I didn't even set the sink times, y'all. I'm slacking. <laughs> but when you get this uh when you get this house originally the appliances and the counters might be a different shade and everything but it's still beautiful nonetheless and this is uh this is how i updated it if you guys want to copy it i think you can use the parenthood cabinets because i think they have the same swatch color and over here we have emiliano's room he's a very simple guy he doesn't like a lot of color he doesn't like a lot of uh crazy things and he, as you guys can see there's no real personality in this room and i don't know if it's just because of what he's going through in life lately or if he's just uh if he's just changed and this is how he is now i don't know but i think that annalise is the complete opposite she's very fun she likes to sit down and watch all these crazy crazy movies and she likes pops of color here and there and so that's going to be interesting to see if they live together how they decorate together <laughs> and over here this is his bathroom i well, i wanted to keep this bathroom because i loved the green <laughs> like this is emiliano's bathroom but it's also the guest bathroom and so his mom refuses to change it she's like i know that you don't like this crazy color honey but it's my bathroom, my bathroom, so I'm gonna keep all the colors that I want. And so I really love the green, so I had to keep that. Coming upstairs, again, I, I wanted to mention that he was very simple and plain because as you guys can see, when we come to his parents' living area, it's very cluttered. Um, again, with the green bathroom, <laughs> their bedroom, it looks pretty, pretty spotless over here. But when I rotate the camera this way, as you guys can see, it's still very, very cluttered over here as well. So they do like to clutter things. They, they do like things to look lived in. Whereas Emiliano is just very, no, it must look staged. <laughs> so I don't know what that's about. Maybe you guys can elaborate for me. Um, they have this beautiful balcony over here. And then when we wrap around to the backyard, you guys can see here that um, they have a garden. Emiliano and his mother will come out here and they will garden together. This is his mother's bicycle. Um, we have another table. We have a swing set that Emiliano's father built for him when he was a kid. And then we have another table to where the family, if they want to host, they can have guests out here and they can sit at this table and just enjoy the beautiful view. I'm trying to tell you guys, even when it's raining, it's so pretty here. It really, truly is. Oh my gosh, I never want to leave. But I know that some of you guys really like the bright atmosphere, so I am going to cheat and I just made it sunny, so we should have the sun peeking out shortly. But Emiliano is going to come inside or you know what? Let's have him come out here and he's going to take a picture and he's going to send this to Annalise. And don't worry, guys, I plan on just playing today for you, with you guys. So it's going to be probably a long video if I'm able to get it that long. But let's just take a take a photo really quickly. And he's going to send this to Annalise and he's going to be like, aren't you excited to come out here and, you know, not only see me, but experience all of this? What should we take a picture of? I think uh i think right here would be good yeah we'll, we'll take that one I'm trying to see if there's anything else that would really oh my gosh the dog <laughs> um maybe this angle as well with like the bridge and stuff let's shoot a wide angle shot there we go Ooh, that's pretty i mean the bridge is in the way obviously if he was a real person he'd probably get over there and like <laughs> get over the wall here and take a better picture and i'm also gonna have him take a selfie because he's gonna send a selfie to her as well and just say i bet you can't wait to to see this face you know he's been very flirty they're not officially boyfriend and girlfriend yet but he he definitely makes it known that he he wants to be her boyfriend but of course they have to meet first you know see if the vibe is still there everything like that 
um, but he's gonna take these pictures and he's gonna send them to her. And what I'm gonna do is just pretend that like he sent it within the text. So we're gonna send a happy text to Annalise. And as you guys can see, he doesn't have any friends. <laughs> That's because I've been slacking and I didn't create him any friends yet, but I will be making him some friends very soon. So he's going to send her a text and he's feeling so happy. Oh my gosh, about fitness. I thought that was going to be Annalise. That's so embarrassing. <laughs> um, let's pretend that she's saying it's a great day. Um, we're getting closer to seeing each other. But his father has come outside to greet him and he's so happy to see his son. He's like, hey dad, um, you know, Annalise is coming tomorrow. Uh, can we can we actually plan something like you know maybe family game night or something like that we could play don't wake the llama and of course mom is coming out here look at her <laughs> she's like what are you guys talking about oh honey he's just telling me about how annalise is coming tomorrow and he's so excited he he can't wait and i mentioned to you guys that isabella is very against this and alejandro is as well but he's a little bit more supportive you know he knows that his son is a smart guy and he can make his own decisions but he, he still worries just because it's it's odd to him you know that he's met this girl online because back in alejandro's day you just you know you knocked on a door talked to the girl talked to the parents <laughs> met met the girl somewhere you know not online he's not used to this so he he just thinks that it's a little odd but he he's that's the only reason why he's worried but Isabella, on the other hand, she's like, oh my gosh, my son, my poor boy, he's meeting this girl online, she could be anybody. What if she hurts him? And she just doesn't want her son's heart to be broken. As you guys can see, she's coming in here and she's like, honey, you know, I just, I just want the best for you. I don't, I'm not, I'm not trying to control your life. And he's like, I know mom, I know, but I think that, I think that this is going to be good, you know? And she's just sad that he would probably have to, oh, let's discuss emotional connection. She's just sad that she would have to let her baby boy go and that he would have to, he would have to move away. Oh, she's like, honey, I just always want you close by. I love you. And it just makes me very sad and worried to know that you're going to be so far away. He's like, mom, I'm going to be okay. You don't have to worry. It's going to be, okay. it's going to be all right. I promise. I, I feel like I'm a pretty good judge of character. And I think that Annalise is gonna be perfect for me and he keeps checking his phone because he and Annalise are checking and texting back and forth and he's like oh she's telling me she's getting ready for her flight look at the mom she's like oh, I don't know honey I don't know oh, look at them they are so in love they're so cute but I guess oh maybe we have to give one of the dogs a bath actually let's see no what is what is stinking I'm so confused it says something is smelly but Guys, I don't see anything smelly. Maybe I'm tripping. <laughs> no, I'm really not. But I looked around and I don't see anything that's really... The dogs are clean. The parents are clean. So I don't know. Um, but before we lose any daylight, I want to hop over to Annalise's household and show you guys um, a little bit about her and do the same thing that we did with Emiliano with Annalise and show you guys how she's living. Okay guys, so we are officially here with Annalise's household and I'm just going to read her description just like I do with Emiliano. So Annalise currently lives with her best friend slash cousin Kim in Evergreen Harbor. And during the holidays, Anna received a little extra money as a gift from her parents. It wasn't much, but rather just enough to secure her plane ticket to fly out to Tartosa to meet her practical boyfriend Emiliano. Anna and Emiliano met while playing an MMO as teens and spent every moment chatting online. Emiliano started to pick up other interests and in going out with friends more, but he always made time for Anna. Annalise herself is more of a homebody and enjoys watching dramas, reading webtoons, and playing life simulators. She's been dreaming of the moment of meeting her real-life Prince Charming. Only problem is she's been lying about her appearance and a few other things. When will Annalise find the courage to tell Emiliano the truth? So Annalise is very real. She has a lot of things that I feel like myself I've experienced in my life and maybe some of you have even experienced in your life. So she has a little bit of insecurity. She's always had weight fluctuations ever since she was a young girl and her family didn't really give her any crap for it but more so when she went to the doctor the doctors were constantly telling her oh you know you're a little on the heavy side you need to do this you need to do that because i feel like when you go to the doctors it's so gosh it's so crazy i remember when i was a kid and i went to the doctor and they told me that i was heavy and like looking back at myself when those when i was in those pictures i was like I wasn't even a big kid, you know, but hearing those things made me just get that permanent 
mark on my brain that always made me obsess over like my weight and things like that and so this is very real this is very raw <laughs> this is why i wanted to um create annalise for my personal gameplay because i wanted to connect with her in that way and so i feel like she experienced the same thing that i did and she also has acne acne that's carried into her adult years i myself also have adult acne and she has some scarring and she also has some current acne that she's dealing with but she still applies her makeup she's not like a makeup guru or anything but she knows how to put on some gloss a little bit of foundation and some eyeliner and mascara her eyebrows um she doesn't really do anything with her eyebrows they're just in their natural state just like mine i love a big thick brow and yeah she is a curvy sim i love that about her she is very plain jean she wears what's comfortable and so i'm just gonna go through her outfits with you guys really quickly and i know that i mentioned in emiliano's description that or i think it was annalise's i can't remember i think i just read it out of annalise's that she's lying to him not only about her physical appearance she's been sending him like fake pictures and stuff but she's also lying about other little things. You know, her family isn't as financially stable as his family. And she's kind of, you know, made it a point to play it up a little bit and say that she comes from money and that she's in university when really her parents don't even have money to send her to university. She herself doesn't have money for university. Financial assistance for college is just a really um, difficult process of getting set up. And so she doesn't have any of that. And I also want to point out the fact now that she's in her swimsuit, if you guys can see here, she has some stretch marks. I love this. She looks so, so real. And even in the mirror, you guys can see like the elbow detail i absolutely love how cute she is and again how real she is <laughs> um but yeah she's just kind of played it up a little bit that she is she has this extravagant life she lives in this really nice neighborhood in this really nice apartment but no she's she's barely making ends meet and she is very worried that when her and emiliano if things do work out after she tells him the truth how is he going to adjust to living where she lives <laughs> but you guys can take a look over here at her um about me panel <laughs> um basically she is a she has the soulmate aspiration um she's socially awkward she's loyal and she's a romantic so she's just a hopeless romantic she just wants to live the fairy tale and i feel like she looks at the the glass kind of half full perspective and the whole reason she started lying about her identity was not only because of her insecurities with her with her personal appearance but also her self-worth and she also just wanted to be safe she was a kid on the internet and so she just used a little emoji at first like a little cartoon picture but then when emiliano and her started getting closer and he sent her a picture he was like what do you look like and the moment of just panic set in she's like oh my gosh he wants to see my face what am i going to show him and so there was a girl in her class and she was friends with her and she started to send her pictures instead she did not tell her friend that she was using her photos i know this is bad <laughs> and she's been able to keep up the act and send emiliano these pictures of this girl because she knows her in real life and you know she's been able to show development as she grows with age and emiliano hasn't thought twice about it you know she makes up the excuses as to why she can't video chat she's busy and stuff and he's just like as long as i can hear your voice that's all i care about and so when he would come home after hanging out with friends like drinking he would call her on the phone and it'd be like daytime for her and she'd be like oh i can only talk for a little bit but really she'd just stay on the phone with him until he passed out and sometimes he'd fall asleep on the phone and everything and she would just sit there listening to him you know she's just so into him and she's just so worried that she's gonna lose all of this when she tells him the truth but enough staring at a sim who's standing still let me introduce you guys to her cousin kim kim's mom is actually annalise's mom's sister and so kim is a neighborhood confidant She's cheerful. She's also loyal and she is unflirty. So Kim is just like, oh, romance. I'm just, that's just not for me. I'm just living life right now. And her favorite color is black. So you guys will see her in pretty much only black. It's just her only attire. And I'm okay with that because it's easy to dress. This one outfit, I gave her a pop of color because I was like, yeah, maybe I should. Um, but she, on the other hand, is more confident you know she is a little bit more outgoing than maybe her cousin Annalise is and she's always telling her she's like girl you need to send him a picture of your face the trip is literally this weekend are you just gonna tell him when we get off the plane like what's the plan here and she's telling her constantly you know if he doesn't like you for you it's his loss you're beautiful she always tries to uplift her cousin and tries to show her you know that she's going to be okay if if he doesn't accept her for who she is but also 
it's wrong of her to keep lying to him and so she's just very supportive and trying to get her to be more comfortable and to be open with him because she knows how much this relationship means to Annalise even if they aren't boyfriend and girlfriend yet she still really wants uh, to keep him in her life and she's just very attached to him so as you guys can see night and day difference with Tartosa it's literally snowing here it's so beautiful winter wonderland kind of vibe and Emiliano is going to be in for a surprise when he comes here and he gets to experience all seasons <laughs> like I don't think he's going to know what to do um but the girls live in this apartment complex I actually found this apartment complex through my friend Ocean she did a video recently of just a bunch of beautiful apartment complexes you guys should go check it out I will have it linked in the description for you guys if you haven't seen it yet but let me go ahead and give you guys a tour of their duplex so the girls split the rent here you know they help each other out Kim really wanted to live somewhere in like the the more um what's the word i'm looking for the more upscale neighborhood but she knew that her cousin could not really afford that and so she tried to meet her in the middle and say hey i don't mind this place we can live here together it's not that bad and they came together and they live here now and they split the rent you know that kind of thing but this is what their living room looks like i wanted to keep it very simple and so i imagine like I shop at Dollar General. I don't know about you guys. I shop at the dollar stores. I shop at Big Lots. I love, I love a deal. So I imagine that they got this lamp from like Dollar General or something. And I used to have a picture just like this, the three plaque painting that comes together in Big Lots for like 20 bucks. <laughs> I had this in my living room in my first apartment and i just felt like the girls would have this together and over here we have this uh, hallway table i just cluttered it up a little bit you know i'll put a candle in here a picture a lamp some books and some headphones they have a little vacuum over here i love this vacuum i put it in every single one of my builds and it's in their kitchen this is another one of those big lot pictures i love i love a big lots picture <laughs> The washer and dryer came with the apartment. They have this little table that the girls sit at together to eat breakfast and everything like that when they're not in the living room. And then we have this pressure cooker. I think that Annalise made some rice and just a microwave. So a really simple, simple kitchen. You know, I didn't want anything too crazy. I was so glad that Ocean made that video because every single apartment I was seeing was very modern and just a little bit more upscale than what i wanted for these two i mean they're teenagers well the teenagers they're young adults so they needed something that was in their price range and not super expensive um upstairs i guess we'll start with annalise because we're in her room now as you guys can see here very different from emiliano you know she doesn't have a lot of money but she does have like some decal on her wall she's got some clutter items like this lamp she's had since she was a kid um she's got her desk that she's had since she was a child as well um a hand-me-down dresser nothing in her in her room is consistent i think except for her nightstands she only has one nightstand so just like in emiliano's room he has matching set everything but in annalise's room it's very real i feel like i feel like this is literally in my room you know we might have some nice curtains up a little decal on the wall my gaming pc and my bed but everything is from a different store a different purchase we have some plushies here i would imagine that emiliano sends her plushies so we have this little seal that he's sent he has sent these squishmallows here so we have the mushroom one and then we have the cow who she's named milio obviously after him <laughs> and she'll come over and like hug it and squeeze it when she misses him next to annalisa's room we have the bathroom and then over here we have her cousin's room this is kim's room and she on the other hand can have the matchy matchy furniture because her mom has a little bit more money to spend and then on this side we just have a dresser her books and a plant and her makeup you know just something simple and another collage set of pictures but yeah this is where the girls live they are so excited for their trip to tartosa annalise literally hates the winter time and so she was i think she was actually shivering before she came down so we're going to turn the thermostat on because you know bills are expensive and this is all our money for our vacation so this isn't like spending money they have but they're they're finally turning on the heat for the first time this winter um they just can't take it anymore but she's gonna sit down and she's gonna talk to her cousin and just say aren't you excited to be going to um tartosa it's gonna be so warm we're gonna have so much fun emiliano was telling me like we should probably get some new clothes because it's it's hot over there and she's like oh yeah we definitely probably should but you know me i'm gonna wear black i know that it's not smart to wear black when it's hot outside but that's all i have she's like girl you're fine it's gonna be okay um but yeah we definitely need to get like some shorts and stuff like that and 
I'm just so excited. She's like, it's gonna be so fun. There's gonna be so much stuff to do. And she's not even thinking about the obvious issue. The obvious issue is that she hasn't even shown Emiliano her face. And I don't think she's planning on telling him until she gets there. <laughs> yeah, I think that's her plan. And so her cousin's gonna bring it up again. She's like, um, not to, not to talk about the obvious, but have you, uh, have you told Emiliano that you haven't been honest with him? Are you gonna send him a picture of your face? Are you thinking about it and she's like i took these pictures earlier but i don't like any of them she's like i think it's just better if i just tell him in person you guys know when you do that when you take a selfie you take like 50 of them and you're like none of these are good <laughs> these are good so that's what annalise is going through she's like none of them are good she's like girl just set the phone on your dresser set the timer and take a picture you're so beautiful i don't know why you're so hard on yourself but i mean we are our worst critics so i think that it's it's believable why she's so so difficult on herself but she's like i know i know i'm just I've just been struggling a lot and i just keep using these filters but i don't even want to put a filter in my picture because then what if he's like oh this still doesn't look like you she, she feels so bad but she's gonna go upstairs because she just remembered that you know she's got to start getting ready for bed they have to go to sleep a little earlier tonight even though she's not super tired um because they have to wake up early to get on that flight and they have to make adjustments for you know time change and everything like that so i'm gonna have her get situated they're not really hungry because i think they ate a little earlier so annalise is gonna take a shower hop in bed and oh i mean we could <laughs> maybe maybe emiliano has sent her a picture <laughs> Like I said, they're not really boyfriend and girlfriend, but they do have that flirty, strong romance. So maybe later, but I'm going to have her uh, just get ready for bed. She's going to get dressed and head on to sleep. So the girls just arrived here in Tartosa and they're just now getting settled in. They started a pillow fight because Annalise told her cousin that she would take the smaller room, but her cousin insisted on her taking this big room with the double bed because there's a chance that she might be losing her woohoo pureness on this trip. And so she just threw a pillow at her and they started pillow fighting because she's like, oh my God, just stop. I haven't even told him what I look like and you're already teasing me about woohoo. Are you serious? But Annalise hasn't even texted Emiliano to let him know that their plane has landed and that they're here in Tartosa. She's just nervous because guys, remember, she still has not told him that she is not the girl in the pictures. And so her cousin Kim is like, hey, we're here. Um, I'm going to text him and let him know that we're here. She's like, um yeah you know i'm just taking in the place this was a lot of money and she's making excuses right now because i mean this place was expensive tartosa life is not cheap but she's like don't worry about that you're here focus on the now we're here to meet emiliano you need to tell him that you know don't you set that on the floor she's like you need to tell him that you're here she's like i know i know just let me get myself freshened up kim has been pushing her to just build this confidence the entire plane ride over here and so i think that um you know she's feeling a little bit better and annalise isn't even going to send him a picture she is just going to arrive meeting him at the beach or wherever it is they decide to meet and she is just going to be herself and i would be so nerve-wracked i would be so anxious because here i am meeting somebody that i've been lying to about my appearance for years almost a whole decade <laughs> And so she's like, "Are you? is that what you're wearing to the beach? It's super cute. And I think you're wearing your hair out naturally. is actually a good move. You know, those waves, they, they'll they definitely pull him in. She's like, you're so adorable. How about we, um, we just take your glasses off and we do your makeup a little bit? And she's like, no, I think I look better with my glasses. I'll just leave my glasses on. <laughs> you know, you always have that person who's trying to boost you up. But you're like, um, let me just stay in my comfort, comfort bubble. But she's going to try it one more time. She's going to come over here and she's going to take a selfie. And she's going to say, maybe I can send him a picture. Let me just try one more time. And she looks at these pictures and she's like, oh my gosh, I hate every single one of them and you and me we're looking at this we're like gosh she's so pretty but you know when you're dealing with your insecurities and your self-conscious feelings that you're not going to see what others see and so this is the picture that she lands on and she's like yep that's me that's how i feel but you know let's just keep trying maybe oh my gosh why can't she see she is so pretty oh let's take this one just for my my sake and it's just really unfortunate that she can't see how adorable she is and how pretty she is but you know she's she's just gonna just get the picture she's like no i'm just gonna meet him and he's gonna have to see me in person just the way i am kim's gonna come over here and she's like let me show you what my picture looks like of you you might you might like this one 
Hold still, okay? Uh, let's take a picture together first. And she's just trying to show her, like, see, look at how pretty you are. You're so beautiful. Like, she's like, no, it's just, no, stop. Like, fine, um, can I, can I take a picture of you? She's like, I guess so, go ahead. And she's like, okay, I'm gonna take it, just strike a pose. And she's like, uh, this is, this is the pose. And she looks so, so cute. So we're gonna take that picture and let's see if she'll give us another pose. Um, <laughs> she is so adorable. She's like, here, this is all you're getting from me. This is, this is the pose. So we'll take another one. Kim was just about to give up and then she went to close her camera and she saw Annalise just smile so naturally. It was a natural like, oh my gosh, we're finally done with this, thank goodness. And she snagged this picture here. So while Annalise was upstairs brushing her teeth and getting ready, Kim saw her cousin's phone that's sitting on the table. And so she took it upon herself to forward that photo that she took of her and she sent it, guys. She sent it to Emiliano. Now Annalise has no idea. She's coming downstairs and she's gonna be like, hey, I'm ready, I'm ready to go. And she's like, okay, um, let me just uh let me just drink this water real quick and we'll leave. And she's like, why are you being, why are you being so weird? Why, why, why are you, why are you acting awkward? She's like, oh no, I'm just, I'm so happy for you. Oh, guys, if this isn't, this is crazy. So let's pretend her phone is still on the table and Emiliano has texted her and he's like, hey, can you come over to my house so we can talk? like she hasn't seen it yet but that's what it, that's what i am taking this as so i will go there on my own but i'm gonna cancel it right now because we're in the middle of a conversation with our cousin like oh no i'm just i'm so excited for you this is gonna be so great you know he's gonna be super super thrilled to see you and she's like oh but still he doesn't know what i look like and i'm so nervous and she's like it's gonna be okay didn't he didn't he forward you his address isn't that where we're supposed to meet his house she's like yeah and Kim starts looking it up on GPS. She's like, hey, we're super close. Maybe that's why he picked out this Airbnb for you and told you to stay here because you guys would be so close. So guys, we just got here and it's almost as if Annalise just completely shut down. She is going to vent to her cousin and she is going to ask for social advice. She's like, oh my God, I can't believe I'm outside his house. She's like, can you just knock on the door for me? I'll just, I'll wait down here. I'm just, I'm so nervous. And she's like, it's going to be okay. We're going to go in there. She's like, no, please, please knock on the door for me. And she's like, okay, um, I'll go knock on the door. It's only because I love you, okay? Even with this broken hug. <laughs> it's only because I love you. You go down there and you wait for me, okay? She's like, okay, thank you so much. I owe you. I owe you. And Kim's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So Kim doesn't even know this man. She hasn't even met Emiliano for herself but she loves her cousin so much that she knows how just nervous she is and oh my gosh we can eavesdrop I haven't done this yet so Kim just knocked on the door and she's waiting for Emiliano to come outside I was able to get control of him so he should be on his way out and she is like oh my goodness this man is he's the real deal he literally looks just like his pictures so i think that we're gonna have a cheerful introduction of course he's gonna go and do some things and go back in the house but um we're gonna pretend that they just stayed outside and they had this conversation but she's just gonna say hey um really nice to meet you i'm kim um i'm annalise's cousin he's like oh, i've heard so much about you <laughs> so the day's going by super fast so i wanted to pause and just explain to you guys what's happening so emiliano has stepped outside with kim because kim's like hey we gotta go out here and he's like where is where is Annalise you know she's supposed to be here and she's like oh she's waiting for you and even his parents came out they were like oh we want to meet her and then he's like dad can you please go back inside um I think that you know Annalise is a little nervous so I'll, I'll fill you in okay just uh head inside and he's like all right son but look at this guys she is down here and look at her face oh my gosh I feel so bad for her but Kevin's like hey you gotta come down here with me and guys, I'm gonna share this information with you, but Emiliano has already opened his phone. He's already seen her and he knows, he knows that her, that she is not, um, what am I trying to say? He knows that she's not the person in the photos. And so he is prepared, but he doesn't really know what he's gonna say. So he's feeling playful because he's like, maybe I can just be friendly. You know, I've known this girl for years. She is my friend. 
but this is gonna be different and look at how awkward she feels she's like oh oh my gosh let's picture that emiliano really is just behind kim and then she finally gets to see his face and she's very embarrassed and she's like i don't know what to do oh my gosh they can have their first kiss absolutely not and not the way he ran away as you can see um I'm, I'm not the girl in the pictures <laughs> He's like, oh, yeah, it's uh, it's fine. And she's like, oh, I'm so embarrassed. Gosh, I'm going to have him sit down with her. And Kim's going to be like, well, I uh, I think we're going to give you guys some space. So we'll have Kim come up here and, you know, just give them some time together. And in a way, this is low-key romantic because the sun is setting. And we're right here by the water with our childhood friend, nonetheless. And her first crush, she's just like... This is so wild. She can't believe that she's sitting here with him. But she is just... She, let's go to their panels really quickly because I don't even think I've looked. But we'll open hers up and it says that she perceives him as very attractive. They have amazing compatibility. They're soulmates and they're deeply connected. Let's check out Emiliano's, um, Emiliano's experience. Now, we can see that they're soulmates, amazing compatibility, but he perceives her as basic looking. And guys, I don't want this to reflect on his personality. I personally think that he thinks that she's basic looking because this is not what he was expecting. The way that I want to put this is that he is just like, oh, you're you're different. You know, he doesn't think that she's not beautiful or anything like that. Of course, he thinks that she's beautiful. Her personality shines through everything, but he's just a little taken back and he doesn't really know what to say. And she's just trying to explain herself. And she's like, I'm so sorry I lied to you. I was just... I'm just dealing with a lot and I'm super insecure and things have just been hard. He's like, you look great. Why are you, why do you feel like that? Oh, guys, he feels flirty. <laughs> Fresh and frisky. <laughs> goodness. Oh, goodness. But she's still embarrassed. And I think that this is going to take time for her to get over this. But he, on the other hand, he's just feeling super flirty. And so I think at this point... He is going to be a little, a little affectionate, you know, he's being sweet and I think that he is going to look deeply into her eyes and he's going to say something like, don't be so hard on, let the people pass by too, but he's going to be like, hey, don't be, don't be so hard on yourself. You're, you're so beautiful. And guys, look, <laughs> my heart, my heart, <laughs> because they're just internet lovers. I love them he's just like you you're so so beautiful Annalise and I'm just I'm so happy to have you here with me he's like I'm happy to be here with you too so guys it's officially the next day and before you all get the wrong impression <laughs> Annalise is not in bed with Emiliano she is partaking in some self woohoo to express some feelings that she had this morning when she awoke here in Tartosa. So Emiliano actually ended up going back to his parents' house. He didn't stay because I honestly just don't feel like he would be like that. You know, he walked them home and made sure they got here safely. But in all, he was just teasing about staying over and everything like that. And plus his mom would be knocking on the door, following them and everything. And so he just decided just to walk them home and come back to his place. But she is feeling happy this morning, as you guys can see here. It's a solo fun. A sim doesn't always need a partner to enjoy things. Yes. Um, so she just wanted to have a little woohoo fun this morning and just explore herself but she has the wants to want to kiss someone and she wants to do something romantic which is really really cute but i'm gonna have her come down here and she's just gonna get her something to eat really quickly i'm thinking about something simple for breakfast nothing too heavy or something that'll sit on her um for all day so let's come in here and see if we can find oh my gosh i just went past it twice we want a cook a quick meal that's what I'm trying to say. And I think that she's just going to grab some cereal, you know, nothing too, too wild and crazy. But on the agenda today, she is actually going out with Emiliano on her own. Her cousin is completely just over seeing all the romance. When they got home last night, it said that she witnessed something romantic and she was just completely appalled. <laughs> she's so dramatic but you know it's okay i'm gonna go ahead and wake up kim too and she's not gonna tease her cousin or anything but she definitely wants to chat about what she heard 
from the door from the walls these walls aren't very thick <laughs> but she's not gonna do that she's not gonna tease her or anything like that but um you're just gonna sit down and she's gonna say well what are you gonna do today what do you have on the agenda are you guys gonna hang out i was gonna get her something to eat but i'll do that in a little bit so share scandalous secret <laughs> <laughs> I think that would really be a Kim move. So we'll bring her down here and then I'll get her something to eat because I just realized that she's extremely hungry. But she's going to come and just tease her, her cousin a little bit and say, oh, today's the day. You know, you're going gonna to kiss him. I know you've been thinking about him a lot. <laughs> she's hinting at the fact, but she's not going to full out. Just say, hey, I heard you self woohooing this morning. <laughs> But she's just going to say, oh, good to see you. I wish my hugs weren't broken, guys. I'm so sorry. So you're going to kiss him tonight? Oh, no. Um, girl, I'm just I'm just pacing it. We're just getting to know each other. She's like, mm-hmm. I know you want to kiss him, though. You definitely were just staring at his mouth the entire time he walked us home. You almost tripped over the freaking bridge. She's like, oh, my God, you saw me do that? She's like, oh, I hope he didn't see it. She's like, no, I'm sure not. Sure, he did it. She's like, I was just I was so nervous last night, but today feeling a little bit better. Um she's feeling very inspired and she is very, very uh <laughs> I don't know, mixed emotions right now. She's inspired about this whole journey and she also has it in the back of her head like did he did he just forgive me for all that? His response to meeting me the way that I was was very um not as i expected <laughs> and her cousin still hasn't told her that she sent the photo she deleted the message immediately after so annalise has no idea that her cousin took the extra step to go ahead and send the picture and so that's why he was mentally prepared but um yeah she 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 doesn't know that any of that happened and i think that kim will probably tell her later but right now she just wants her cousin to enjoy her trip so guys don't shame her she just wants her to have a good time um let's get her some lactose free yogurt that sounds good and then we're gonna call emiliano on facetime because now we can do that since he knows what she looks like and she's gonna say hey um I'm ready when you are. When would you like to meet up? He's like, oh, I want to take you to the beach and then take you out to eat. She's like, oh, okay. Um, I still have my own money. Do you do you need me to bring my bring my wallet? <laughs> He's like, no, you're my guest. I'm I'm paying for you. She's like, oh, okay. Um, so what should the attire be? He's like, oh, just wear something comfortable and casual. So we need to head upstairs and see what she has to wear. Because I do believe I packed her a few casual outfits. I want to say I picked out her outfits prior to recording and everything. So we're going to get her up here and change her outfit. Let's see what we have. He did say casual. And we wore this yesterday. So I think that I'm going to wear this dress here. Something that is comfortable and appropriate for the weather but also um something she feels i guess secure in almost like a security blanket like i'm super insecure about my arms so i do a lot of things to like cover my arms to make me feel comfortable so she's gonna go up here and grab this dress and this sweater that she packed and she's gonna look so cute guys wait till you see her oh she can't reach her suitcase oh that's lame but let's bring her out here so we can see her oh my gosh she looks so cute what is he saying oh no do you want to go out on a date oh he's making it official <laughs> he's making it official but we're gonna ask him so we hit no thanks but guys this is what she looks like she's so cute yeah i think that this one just has lip gloss but this is such a cute fit it's casual but flirty and uh, a little dressy at the same time. Oh my gosh, she's going on her first date. This is so exciting. So Emiliano and Annalise just took her to the beach and he's telling her, hey, I know it's not much, but I figured we could come here today and just spend the day together. And she's trying to make a joke, you know, just to lighten the lighten the load. But he he's like, hey, you don't, you don't always have to crack a joke, you know, just be yourself. And just, she's like, I know I'm just, I'm so nervous and with the lying and everything i'm i just i don't i don't know how to act so i apologize i hope i'm not being too much he's like no and she notices that he's on his phone and guys this is going to be an insecurity that you're going to see of hers she's going to see him get on his phone a lot and she's just going to be like in her head like oh i wonder who he's texting he's probably texting some prettier girl than me all that other stuff but we are going to ask to push Annalise on the swing not the way his mom is here 
embarrassing. Look at her, she's angry. She's like, I can't believe he's here with this girl. <laughs> no, just kidding. But he's he's telling her, hey, uh, let me let me push you on these swings really quickly. They, he just wanted to have an easy day for her. He wanted her to do something effortless and fun. And so coming to this beach and, you know, just hanging out is an easy way to get to know each other and to also just have some fun. Look at them. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. I have to get all the pictures. Her face. And she is just having the best time. She feels so free and so young. She feels like she's in a book right now or in her favorite drama. She just can't believe that she's here with Emiliano on the beach where he lives and he's pushing her on a swing. Oh my gosh. And she's like, this is so fun. Go higher, go higher. He's like, okay. And he's just going to keep pushing her. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. Not me gushing over my own sounds. <laughs> they, they're they just so, what's the word? Innocent. Oh my gosh, I love it. <laughs> he's so happy to be here with her. Look at him. Feeling a close connection, deep connection. And let's see how she's feeling as well. She's feeling energized off her coffee. But other than that, nothing too crazy. Um what is he oh <laughs> the way <laughs> so we'll come over here and we'll make a sand sculpture together and then i think that it'll almost be time for them to go to the restaurant because i think that emiliano made a reservation for them but he's like you build yours and i'll um i'll build mine okay and then we'll show each other at the end and He's like, no peeking. We'll see who's who builds the best sand castle. But she she says to him, I think that you're gonna win because you know you live here. You play in the sand all the time. He's like, I do not play in the sand all the time. <laughs> He's like, you never know. Yours might uh yours might come out better. And it looks like she's building the cow plant one, which is this one here. And he's building the turtle. So hers looks pretty, pretty darn good. Oh, that's cute. Oh, oh <laughs> she's like, wow, that's so cool. And let's see how his turtle, she's like, oh, you made a turtle. He's like, yeah, you like it? But Annalise is going to take out her phone and take a picture of their sand sculptures. Guys, ignore this kid. He just kind of walked up to Annalise and started talking to her. <laughs> But she's just taking pictures so she can remember this moment of them here on the beach. And um, I think that she is going to, we're just going to bring her over here so this kid can kind of go away. And Emiliano is going to, I think, try to be a little bit more affectionate with her. So maybe we can hold hands because he just wants to, you know, make her feel a little bit more at ease. And he's going to hold her hands and just say, right, are you... um?" You ready to go to those dinner reservations? She's like, yeah, um, I'm starving. I don't know about you, but I'm ready. I'm ready to eat. He's like, okay. And he asked her, hey, can we um, can we take a picture really quickly? And she's like, yeah. I don't really like pictures. She's like, but you look beautiful. I promise you, I'll take I'll take a good picture. She's like, okay. And this is gonna be the first time she sees herself next to Emiliano. And you guys who also deal with nervousness of like taking photos and insecurities you guys know what this feels like when you have to take a picture next to someone your whole body just kind of shuts down and of course she's like this is this is fine he's like i can't even see your face can we can we try another pose and let's see if we can find a good one she's like here this one's good and he just can't he's like she's the cutest girl i've ever seen like she's so adorable and i can't believe she was so nervous to send a picture and we're gonna do this one here and she just sees herself next to him and she's pointing out everything like the little details like his skin's so smooth i have acne and she's just highlighting her insecurities when in this moment she can't really see how beautiful she is and how happy he is to stand next to her he's she she doesn't see it but he he does and that's that's important but what's more important is her seeing her self-worth as well so i think that this is going to be an issue that they they face in the future possibly but it looks like we got all the options i was looking for the one you guys know the one with the kiss on the forehead <laughs> they're not ready for it yet but i just wanted to see it but yeah this is cute we'll take this one and um yeah it's just a shame that she can't really see how beautiful she is but their dinner reservations are at this restaurant. I think it's uh, it's up here. Yeah, this one right over here. So we're going to travel over here and we're going to get them their table and sit down for a bite to eat.
So we came to this location instead of the restaurant because I think I'm still experiencing the Get Famous glitch. I don't know if that was fixed out or not yet, but the restaurant was still buggy. So I decided to bring them here instead. And so they had themselves some coffee and some food at the cafe and they just been sitting here. And I think that Annalise is a little awkward because she hasn't said a word. And I think that um Emiliano is a little nervous as well because he hasn't really said much to her either but he has been eyeing this little guitar area over here and he's thinking about playing a song for her that he wrote and um I think that he is just gonna ask her now um we're gonna use ask about day but he's gonna say can I uh can I play you a song that I wrote oh my god now she's freezing oh let me let me fix that one for you and she's like yeah okay we'll go play it he's like all right <laughs> you better you better clap and guys ignore the fountain i messed this up earlier <laughs> but i'm gonna have him come over here and he is gonna busk for his guitar and she is gonna stand and watch him play and there's no one else out here so it is almost like she's getting her own private concert this is gonna be so sweet i want her to sit on the ground but that might be a little a little odd so he's gonna pull out his guitar and he's just gonna start playing. Oh my gosh. She's like, no way. And she's feeling super flutey. I don't blame her. Oh my gosh. Guys, we need all the pictures, guys. Look at this. Guys, I feel like I'm in a romance movie. He is doing the thing. <laughs> oh. I'm so in love. And she makes a joke. She's like, hey, uh, I'll tip you. That's really good. And of course, people are starting to hear the music. So they're coming outside now to see what's going on. And she's noticing that he catches a lot of people's attention. Again, this is going to be another insecurity flare up for her because look at all these women coming out here to see the hot man with the guitar in the romantic cafe. Oh, she's like, oh, you're so cute. Are you single? <laughs> and he's not even paying her any attention. But of course, um, you know, Annalise hears it. And she's like, wow, he gets compliments from everyone. And all these women are just so into him. Is this normal for him? Is this every day? She's just so taken back. So the two of them just left the cafe. And it looked as though... Annalise was feeling a little sad and she was expressing her doubts of herself to him and he's like oh those women I didn't even see them I was just looking at you and oh <gasps> guys I have never had my sim autonomously have a first kiss with another sim you didn't even wait for me sir <laughs> you just kissed my sim without my permission <laughs> no but that was actually really cute um, maybe she, after expressing her feelings about worrying about those other women, he's just like, you're the only girl I see. And she's like, oh my gosh, that was her first kiss. But I would, I can't say that Emiliano is perfect. That wasn't his first kiss. And this entire time, Annalise has been 100% loyal and set on the idea that, you know, she would save herself for him and he, she wouldn't date anyone or go out or do anything but Miliano, you know maybe he didn't keep up that end of the deal but he he knows that he wants to to be with her so but we are going to do something a little bit more romantic here since i do have the kit the kiss and grind mod we are going to have a passionate makeout now you guys know i like to have tea and drama so i threw that little hint in there that Miliano. He has been um, with other people and he has flirted with other people and kissed other people and possibly even woohooed. Um, I don't know if I've gone, if I want to go that far just yet, but he's done things and she's not his first, but she is just feeling over the moon right now. Look at her. Oh my gosh. And the way he's holding her, this is, this is so cute. The fact that they're dancing together under the stars, it's almost 12 o'clock and she is just this trip has been way different than she expected like she did not expect it to be so good and so positive she didn't think that she would even kiss him on this trip but here she is and oh my gosh i'm so happy for her she's feeling like just so giddy and over the moon right now he's like that was amazing 
that was your first kiss you're you're a really good kisser she's like oh my gosh i am and she's texting kim because kim's like where are you at you know i'm worried it's almost 12 30 and she's like hey it's a uh, it's getting a little late so maybe we should wrap this up and he's like oh i thought that you were gonna stay with me all night she's like oh stop <laughs> yeah i think that we should wrap this up he's like okay if you insist i have been having so much fun with these two and annalise really hasn't seen her cousin a lot on this trip but her cousin understands you know she's not mad they she knows they came here for the simple fact that annalise wanted to meet emiliano but these two have been very handsy and he wants her to meet his family he's like you know you gotta meet my mom right and she's like your mom oh she seems intimidating and annalise has kind of fallen into the groove here she's in the moment she's like well now she's a little bit more confident she kisses him a little bit more forwardly and she's like you gotta ask me to be your girlfriend first and he's like oh you're definitely gonna be my girlfriend and guys i'm just so happy that this did not go the way that i thought it was like originally i thought that he would not handle the news very well but he handled it okay and he's like i just realized i didn't even ask you to be my girlfriend you know we've just been he's gonna check one all the time he's like we've just been so flirty for so so long i just kind of already felt like you were but she's like yeah i would love for you to make it official and he's like okay you want me to make it official you know i care about you a lot and even though you know you kind of catfished me <laughs> he's like i still i still care about you and i, I want to move things forward and so now he is officially going to ask annalise to be his girlfriend she's like oh my gosh i can't believe it and he wants to ask her out on another date guys and let's see how she's feeling she wants to schedule a date oh no that is so cute they both kind of just want to do things like that together oh my gosh i wonder how her aspiration is doing too because become an adult yes be married to bff i mean maybe maybe one day we're taking it slow we're taking it slow but we're also moving it fast here in tartosa but they're definitely going to be taking it slow you know he does have to uh move to we'll say her sims country she has to he has to move to her sims country so this has got to be a process you know he can't just pick up and move with her right now but let's see how they're doing in their profile so oh she still perceives him as better, very attractive he's her boyfriend now there she finds him adoring and i want to take a look at his profile as well Ooh, i mean he still perceives her as basic looking so can you guys elaborate on this for me about what you take this as i think i explained it in the beginning but what do you guys think he means by this and do you guys think this will ever change maybe it's just because they're just now getting started and he is getting used to who she is physically whereas he sent her pictures from day one so she's known what he looks like who he is and things like that maybe it's just because he doesn't feel like he knows her that well um you guys can elaborate more for me if you'd like but she's asking him if she could take a picture because she she just feels like no one's gonna believe her like this is her boyfriend he's like of course um yeah put it as your screensaver don't let any other guys talk to you um take a picture of me it's just like don't let oh <laughs> he said make this your screensaver <laughs> I won't hesitate at all. Um, you got another pose for us, Mr. Sir. <laughs> Nami over here thirsting over the sim. He is fine. He is so fine. What does he have for flirty? Okay. This is cute. I definitely think the first one we got, this one. <laughs> Guys. <laughs> he looks so good. And he's going to say, well pick for pick now i gotta take your picture too and she's like okay okay you know she's a little nervous let's take a photo of annalise i wonder if she's gonna do the awkward pose that would be so funny oh no she posed kind of cute look at her let's give him a cute picture that he can have as his um as his background we'll do this one. Oh, she looks so cute i love that we can see her stretch marks too let's do this one she looks so cute in my mind she's very short she's just so adorable oh i love this one this is the one that he already has though so we'll save that but maybe yeah she's still not up to being in control of taking pictures with him but she's like this is okay and he's like okay uh 
last one in the water uh, has to give a massage. And she's like, wait, 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 a massage? I wasn't ready. <laughs> she's like, oh my gosh, you can't do that. And he's like, oh, now you, you gotta give me a massage later. She's like, okay. He's like, you know, I, I, I'm at the gym all the time. I'm always sore, so I could definitely use one. But she's going to splash it. And she's like, well, if I give you a massage, you, you give me one too, just because. He's like, no, that's not how the rules work. She's like, whatever. <laughs> she's like, I, I love being with you. He's like, I love being with you too. This is long overdue. And they are just so cute, guys. I can't look at them. Oh my god. But guys, I have been recording for quite some time now. So I do think that I'm going to stop the recording here today. I hope that you enjoyed playing my personal gameplay with me. I will always be sharing pictures with these two because I think that I'm invested. I think that I've built the story up enough for myself to play this a little bit longer off camera than I normally do so I will keep you guys updated I had so much fun with you all today again I hope that you all have a great new year I hope that you have a safe night and just be responsible and if you drink drink responsibly and just be careful and I love you guys so so much and I will talk to you all very very soon bye everybody